because I am literally too hot to even move. So we're just sitting in the shade. I think I may put the 50 mil on because we're up next to Tower of Terror. I think I'm going to get to be warm there and then it'll be too far like dinner reservation. We just watched that new Star Wars show, which we've never saw before, with the new scenes put Thank into you. it. Um, and now we're going to the 50s prime time for some lunch. And I think we're all going to head out because we are both worn out today with the sun. So we're sat down at the 50s prime time. Here's the menu. For a drink, I think I'm just going to get a soda because I'm that hot. Um, but for an entree, I think I'm going to get the Santa, which is a little bit of everything. I quite like the decorations here, yeah, it's so obviously 50s themed but it's cool like they've got an old fashioned TV over there everything so we've been here five minutes and I've been told off for not setting the table Becca already set her side but I got told off so the food's coming that looks absolutely delicious we've got a sample of everything Becca went for the fried chicken which looks good but I can't wait to try all the little different things but I've got to quickly put the camera down because I keep getting told off. So prime time, one of the best places I've ate on property. It was really, really nice. I kept getting wrong for having my phone out, um, so I had to put it away, but it wasn't that expensive. It was like $60 with tip. No, sorry, was it $70 with tip? Yeah. We left $70 with tip, um, but after that it was really, really nice. Headed back into Toy Story Land for our fast pass for, um, what's it, Midway, Midway Mania. And then afterwards we're going to see if we can ride Alien Swirling Saucers. I didn't want to say the abbreviation, but <laughs> Alien Swirling Saucers. So we're heading in the new entrance of Midway Mania. Never done it before. It's weird going in this way, it's like it's a new ride. I love all the theming. <laughs> Ten potato. Exciting. So Toy Story was really good. I had to put the camera away because it's really big setup. Um, but now we're in the ride for Alien Swirl and Saucers. It's only a 20 minute wait, so very excited. We're just in the queue. The queue looks quite long. Um, but there's the ride there, so we're not too far away, so I'll let you know how accurate the wait time was. Just got done riding alien swirling saucers. What did you think? It was good, I, like it. I loved it. It was more rough than I thought it was going to be. It threw you about a bit. It was very short, but it was around a 20 minute wait, which is correct. Um, but really, really fun ride. But Slinky Coaster doesn't look like it's running now because they're running empty carts for some reason. So I think we might just be heading out now. Because we've got these plates, if you remember from the daily vlogs. Becca wants the placemats in napkins to go with it. Which one says table runner, but it's $70.
but we're probably well end up getting them to be honest. So we're just stopping here for a drink. I've never actually been to this store before, but we've just noticed they've got the uh, the limited edition souvenir um, alien cups. And Becca really wants one, so are you going to get it with a slush? Um, or just a drink? I don't know. If, I don't know what it comes in to be honest. So now waiting for our Uber after walking all the way through all these construction scrims that you can see here. Um, so I think this is the new Uber Uber parking here or pickup because this is where we got dropped off this morning. But like this is Florida, clear skies over there, and then over here, horrible rain clouds. Oh, I've made it back to Cabana Bay after a long Uber drive. Just seeing if he's still there, he's gone. We're gonna head back to the room and then head to Universal. These are the refillable cups from Universal. We're getting these ones because we haven't got them, but it is $17.99 for the length of your stay, which obviously wears 16 nights. Or you can just get one day or three days, but it works out better value. Obviously, if you're from the UK, you'll be staying minimum two weeks normally. So $18 and it's unlimited drinks. So a little bit of time has passed since we got back from Disney. As you can tell now we're at Universal. The park shuts in an hour. I'm gonna head back in. But how good does this look at, at like sunset? It looks amazing. So Becca's new hobby is collecting a pin from each park. Look at that one Becca, that's uh, oh, yeah. like just actually Universal. But I said she should get that one, Universal Princess. Oh I like all the Jurassic Park 25th anniversary merch. Oh that cup's nice. Let's see how much it is. $15, that's not bad. So I don't know if you can realise, but I'm also now on the G7X because you can tell it's not focusing. Um, I just thought I'd put it in my pocket because it's nice and small and I don't have to take the big camera. Becca's directing us the right way. But we're going to ride the uh, Seuss High in the Sky trolley train because it's sunset behind and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, the perks are staying on site. The park shuts in like 45 minutes, but we've just come um, to ride one ride and have some dinner tonight um, because we're so close, it's a shame not to. And instead of having an expensive sit-down meal, I thought we'd try one of the quick service places inside the park before it shuts. Um, but this looks really nice at night time. Well, at sunset. Looks stunning. Too bad we don't happen to have some of those. But look out for beef. A bodacious blue bubble. And bumblebees buzzing won't cause you much trouble. Right the of the cat. Or maybe just for the old A sign for a village called MNOP. O is for opposite. North and south going Saxons. Stubbornly stopped unbudged in their tracks. Pains are perfect. A day at the beach. Q is for quick. Look, that must be a speech. This park at night time is something else. I just wish it was open longer. Even for like on-site guests, like an hour later or something like that. But look how cool that looks. So we're just going to head up to Jurassic Park before it closes and try and get some food. Again, one of my favourite places and islands, Poseidon's Fury. It's actually running as well, 10 minute wait. But we're coming back to islands tomorrow, so we'll do the rides then. The bridge I was on about the other night's open. How rare is that? So we're going to, I wonder if it's to help get crowds out of the park after the Hogwarts Castle show. So we're going to have a walk across. It's only my second time on it. I know it's just a bridge, but it looks cool with all the lights at night time lit up. It's awesome when the park's this quiet. There's the car from the uh, Jurassic Park movie. Second one without the, the dinosaur there. So we've got all the way here and it's closed. Sorry we missed you. Kong looks amazing at night as well. One of the best facades ever. Just seeing the ride's just a bit short. What do you get? Gonna get wet, you know. <laughs> so we're not having the best of luck finding somewhere to eat. So unless we find something that looks good on the way out the park, it looks like it's city walk. Like how cool does this look in the dark? It needs to be open longer so we can see it in the full pitch black. So since we've had no luck with food, Spider-Man's a five minute wait, five minutes before the park closes. So I'm hoping there's no pre-show and we can just go straight in. So Becca's just remind us there's no pre-show on this ride. I'm not sure why I even said that. I've ridden it like a hundred times. So it looks like it is just a walk on. We're in the Daily Bugle. Keeping it, 
keep an eye out for Pika Potter. Hello? This is Jonah Jameson. Roger, over. Is this thing on? Listen, Scope. Crime reports are coming in from all over the city, and I'm starting to get worried. Headline! There's no coverage! So don't screw this up! I mean, uh, good luck. Yeah. Oh. So Becca spotted an arcade. What a huge! Wow! I didn't had no like all the years I've been coming here. I didn't know this was even here. <laughs> As you know, Becca absolutely loves arcades. This is cool. Becca's upset because you need tokens, but the token machines are turned off. She's frantically looking around to get some tokens, but I think all the machines are turned off because the park closes in five minutes. <laughs> Doesn't matter that we're like in the best theme park in the world, this is like Becca's heaven. How stunning does Port of Entry look at night time? And the one time I come at the park without like a tripod or a Joby pod, I see loads of cool places to take long exposures in the dark. It's very, very rare we're here in the dark. I've only ever done it once, and I don't have a tripod, so. But we're on site. We're gonna come back one night in the dark, on Rebex. I'm gonna bring a tripod, and I'm gonna do long exposure galore. So on City Walk now, if you're really into your dancing, the Groove is actually a nightclub, but we're popping to our favorite place, is Fat Tuesdays, and the drinks here are really strong. You only literally need one. So there's all the flavors you can get. Quite a lot of them. Oh, look at those drinks. Mine looks boring, but I went for peach bellini and amaretto. Becca got like four different flavors. I don't even know what she's got, but look. It like, looks like a gobstopper. So we're just out here sitting on the waterfront. It's City Walk next to the big stage. And it's just so peaceful. There's a lot going on, but I just feel so relaxed. Like the water boats are going past, the, the big lights are on for the theme parks. All the restaurants are lit up and we're just sitting here with our drinks, just chilling. Oh, how's that for timing? We just got from the hub and there's a Cabana Bay bus just pulled in, which is awesome. Normally we get the water taxi back, but it means you have to have the long walk and we're like the furthest block away in Cabana Bay from the lobby where the, the walkway is. Look how amazing Cabana Bay looks at night. Absolutely love this place. Look at all the classic cars as well. Gorgeous. So we've stopped at the pizza section. And we're going to get a pepperoni pizza to share with a side of garlic stick. So we've got our pizza, we've got our cups, and with our annual pass discount, we've saved $5 as well. So, so far we've saved close to $40. We're just going down here to fill them up. So they've got the Coke freestyle machines exactly like in the parks. Because these have got an RF chip in the bottom of them. Bet your Becca goes for the grape water. <laughs> Knew it. Straight away. I like it. So you have unlimited, we've got unlimited fills until the 10th of October. All well, the people sitting around the fire pit. Now we've got the, what seems like a mile long trek back to our tower. Which is closest to the volcano which you can see in the distance here. So we've come home, we've just literally dumped everything all over. This is really stressing us out because it's so messy, but I've got Monday Night Football, I've got a Bud Light beer. Yes, Tim, I know you hate Bud Light, but, and we've got pizza. So for those staying at Cabana Bay, how nice do they look? Um, so we get them from like the main sort of beer line diner. I think that's just about to show the pizza. Oh, it's fell a little bit. But uh, people, people yeah. say that these pizzas are bad, but I really like them. It's really nice, except they've missed like, a big circle of pepperoni right there. <laughs> right guys, that does it from us. We are absolutely shattered. We've had like a massive long day today. Um, I think I've recorded a lot of footage, so by the time you were watching this, I think it might be in two parts. I'm not too sure. If it's only one part, then I haven't recorded as much as I thought. We're just going to watch some Monday Night Football, chilling out in, in bed. Um, we'll see you next time in the vlog. Um, the next vlog you'll probably see, I think, as Islands of Adventure again for the full day. And then Mickey's not so scary on the night time. Um, please leave a thumbs up. Like I always say, it helps the videos. Leave a comment let us know how you enjoyed the video and what you like to do in Orlando and whatnot. We love talking to you. And we'll see you next time. And remember, stay tuned. 
You're watching Matt Florida Guy. We hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more daily vlogs, Florida planning and guide videos, plus vlogs from the theme parks. Follow That Florida Guy and That Florida Girl on Twitter and Instagram, and check out our t-shirt designs on Spreadshirt. And remember guys, stay tuned.